welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. It is uh, Monday, December 18th at about a quarter to nine in the morning. Um, I've had my walk and morning pages and a shower. I've done a couple chores. I've worked on, as you may have seen, the la gluing the last of the handmade presents that I'm making for some friends and family. And um, there's still a few more steps to these. I need to seal them and then wire them up. So um, I am letting the glue set on the one y'all just saw. And in just a little while, I will start sealing them. I think I'm just using this. Pat says he thinks it'll be okay. And I already had it. So I'll have to go to the store and get any. Woo! So since I have what I need at home for that, I think once I get my chores done, which tend to be just cleaning out the fridge and uh, making the menu, I think I'm going to head to Mobile at some point. I have a bunch of Satsumas some friends gave us, like a too many, and I'm going to take my mom some before she goes out of town. So I think I'm going to take some to her so she can have some and then take them to her friend that she's going to visit. So anyway, I'm going to open some Advent and then get on with all of that. Let's start, as usual, with my Arteza. Y'all, it feels so much lighter. It's crazy. I can't believe there's only like six more, something like that. Um, what is it? It's a, Christmas is a week from today. That's, that's crazy sauce. It is crazy sauce. I think I have most of the presents handled except for wrapping. I might need to get one more. I've got to talk to my niece. Um... And Pat's supposed to make one or two more, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I hope it does. Um, what day did I say it was? <laughs> it's the 18th, right? Is there, oh, there's an 18th way up here in this corner here with this little bird on it. So where is the little punchy hole? Oh, punchy hole. Punchy hole. Yes. Um, oh, did I not punch it enough? I don't want to tear the little birdie up. Oh, man. All right. Well, it is what it is, right? Oh. Ooh, another tube of something. This is acrylic paint tube in vermilion red. Hold on, I'm trying to get that. <laughs> it is stuck. The ribbon that's supposed to help pull it out is actually stuck. <laughs> the paper here. So. That's no help. Okay, I'll put this in this chair. Um, so that is a nice bright red. I, Vermilion's usually got an orangey tone, doesn't it? So I see a little bit of that, but not too bad. So another tube of acrylic paint, this time in red. All right, and then Nina's is this nice large one and I can see it has this tag on it which tends to mean that it is vintage oak and the tag that says 18 on it does indeed have a mushroom so super nice uh, let's see this tag this says vintage like super okay so it's like super vintage I suppose so I will be delicate and careful with it and we'll see what Nina has got for me. Oh, there's an envelope, okay. I don't think it's the envelope that's super nice. She's got that taint. No, okay. Let's see, pull this out carefully. Oh. Here, this is a ladies' home journal. Does it have a year? 1920. Oh my goodness. Okay, and there's some pages in here too, so I'm gonna pull out. So this is all folded together. March 1920, ladies' home journal. Look at that. And it's quite a few pages here. Oh look. A little bit of color in there and the illustrations. Or so, oh gosh, look at that. Ah! It's, you know, it's so 
it's so vintage. It is actually antique because it is over 100 years old. This is more than vintage. It is antique. Vintage tends to be older than 25 years, I believe, and antique is 100. So, and then there's also some book pages here. I'm trying to see what they are. This just it says politics, and it looks like it's some quotes or a letter or something. And yeah, it's, it's fallen to pieces. Oh, and this says 1860 on it. But I can see it saying something about President or Mr. Lincoln. Hmm. Um, there's a couple of little, oh my gosh, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum wrappers. It's got some writing on the inside too. And then there's this cover. Look at how beautiful this is. I've read writing it in y'all. This, this seems to be, I don't know what this is. It's unique. It's like you can see weaving in it. So I don't know what that is. If any of you know, it's almost, it almost feels like, or looks like even a nonstick craft sheet. So it may have some actual like fibers in it or something and be shellacked or something. It's very interesting feeling but it's so pretty um and then the, the so i'm not sure what i would do with that because it's definitely not getting torn down for collage <laughs> it may just need to go in a frame i mean how pretty is that all right so i think i'm gonna go oh do i want to start spraying no, I'm going to give that one a little more time. So I'm going to go make my list real quick while that's curing. And then, then I'll start spraying. And I think I'm going to spray the fronts today and the backs tomorrow or vice versa. Just uh, to make sure everything has a good time to cure. Okay, let's get to it. I did it again. I forgot to tell you what I sent Nina today. And of course, you can head over to Nina's Instagram where you'll see her unwrapping what I sent to her. Today it was, and I'll have her links below, so don't worry about that. Um, today I sent to her an old yearbook. It was a vintage, so we both send each other vintage today. Sometimes those things are just meshing up. So yeah, she got an old yearbook. I don't remember what year. You'll have to go see. Um, I did a lot of searching for just the right yearbook, looking in my stash, and then I think I ended up just buying that one for her because I liked it so much for her. But I wrapped it in a piece of fabric that's coffee dyed. It was a coffee dyed tablecloth that I also got at an estate sale for her. So, yeah, that was what I sent Nina today. All right, I just got some pictures of what she sent me the last two days because I haven't done that. And you can see back there, my care December that I was like, I didn't have enough light last night when I got it done to get a picture. So I, I think I'm going to put that up as soon as I get my list made. Yeah, oh, that's gonna take a minute because it's a new week. I can do it. I've also got to get the menu, including through Christmas made. So, because I'm already thinking like, when do, when should I defrost the ham so I could put it in the crock pot Christmas morning? <laughs> huh, okay. I gotta let me do some work, stop delaying. had an episode that's owning cats there was mm, stuff I had to clean up <laughs> um but at my mom's I took her some satsumas and I picked up stockings since I'm doing Christmas so I got mine and both of my nieces and their boyfriends and I don't know why I got mine or my husband's because I, I will not be filling those my husband has one here um but yeah, my nieces and both of theirs and my mom's and my stepdad's so that I, since Christmas will be here, I can fill their stockings here. Um, normally I take the stocking stuffers I have over to my mom's and add it to the stockings Christmas Eve so that when everybody gets there, they're full. But um, yeah, 
this year I can do it at my house. I should have had a little bit of footage there of my mom's camellia and I think the other one was the sasanqua. I'm not sure, but it makes me remember that I haven't checked my camellia bush to see if it's blooming. So I think we're going to take a walk out there real quick and see if, if the camellia is blooming. It is my, my stepfather who's from Indiana calls them those crazy winter blooming flowers because camellias bloom in the winter when it's cold. It's yeah. It's a thing. Um, camellias are also the Alabama state flower. <laughs> so I think that's right. I think Mississippi has the magnolia and we have the camellia. I think that's right. So I'm going to take a walk out there and uh, see if my, how my camellia is. It's not in great shape because the hurricane three years ago damaged the tree some. A magnolia tree actually fell in the middle of our camellia bush. So, and I've only got one camellia bush on the property. So, um, yeah, let's go take a look. So that behind me is my badly damaged camellia bush. Um, I'm going to turn y'all around and show you. There's no, no, um, no actual blooms on it. There's buds, which means it'll be blooming later. So, and mine is like a hot pink color. So I'll show you the buds at least. Hi, I am trying to get myself in order. I actually need to take the dog out. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I'm sitting here trying to make this week's menu along with consider what we're going to have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We are, and I've mentioned this before, I don't know if you've seen it or not, Christmas Day, my nieces are coming over with their significant others, and the oldest is having lunch with her boyfriend's family, and we're having dinner with Pat's family, so it's just kind of like I'm going to do breakfast and lunch, or kind of brunchiness things. Um, I've bought a ham. I've never done a ham, so it's a spiral cut honey ham thing that I have found I can do in the crock pot, so I'm not taking up the oven space. But I'd love to know what you what you have for Christmas dinner and some of the things you make and take and enjoy for Christmas that makes the holiday special. Um, I make, and I, I have them on my blog, some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that are my favorite cookies in the whole wide world that, that I will definitely make. Um, and I'm trying to figure out another dessert-y thing, and I just, I've always wanted to have a lemon drizzle cake. They sound amazing, and lemons are blooming, blooming, are ready for the picking out on my <laughs> lemon tree. So I was like, wow, that would cover some of the ingredients, <laughs> so I'm considering that. So right now my menu for Christmas breakfast, I bought some pigs in the blanket because my younger niece requested those. So those are frozen. We'll go in the oven. Um, I think I'm also, I've got some cinnamon rolls in the oven, but I think I'm just going to get like a tray of cinnamon rolls from Aldi. I think they've got like some that you can just buy in their like baked goods department. Um, and I will also bake a hash brown casserole. So that is basically just going to be hash browns and eggs and cheese, I think, with a little bit of milk. Um, I think that's my plan. I think I've got, yeah, I've got a recipe for that brought up. Maybe the day before I'll make some banana, I think maybe banana blueberry muffins and then a fruit salad. So, you know, kind of brunchy breakfasty things that can also like go into lunch if needed. So for lunch so far, I'm thinking ham and maybe some like croissants, um, and then a mac and cheese and a Caesar salad to keep it not, you know, because breakfast is going to be so heavy. I don't want too heavy for lunch either. So that's where I'm leaning. I'm not sure what we're going to have at my brother-in-law's for dinner. He often does a mix of things. And I'm not sure. I, yeah, I'm not sure what's for dinner if I need to take anything, which is part of the reason I need to start figuring this out. So, hmm. Huh. Yeah, I need to, I need to figure out if I need to take something there too, because that would probably be good. If I make a whole batch of cookies, I can take cookies over there maybe, or whatever's left, whatever's left from lunch that we don't eat, I can take over there. Um, so, but I'd love your suggestions if you've got some ideas. I've got Caesar salad on here just because I can't come up with a vegetable that everybody will eat that is easy 
and Caesar salad is easy. So yeah. Um, but I'd love to, yeah, tell me, what do you have? What do you consider traditional? What would you like somebody to make? Um, and if anybody that's having breakfast or lunch or dinner with me uh, has any ideas of what they want to have, let me know. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now is making a menu, making a grocery list, trying to figure out what I'm going to shop for tomorrow and then what I'm going to try to go get Saturday or Sunday, which is you know, a couple days before Christmas. Like the fruit for the fruit salad, I think I'll wait until um the day before and the cinnamon rolls maybe the day before and if I can't get them then I'll have to get some I have to bake and I'll have to figure out how to balance all of those things. Huh. I've never done this before y'all. I'm like I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Send help! <laughs> I did my care December and finished it and played with the oh, I think it's like a bingo dauber. It says it's a marker in black and I don't know, put it on a piece of paper that was here and spread it with water and it's made some neat granulations on it. So I want to play with that more, but I have started dinner. I've been working on it for a little bit. Um, just kind of slowly getting things done. Pat's putting the doors on the front or the cabinet fronts on my drawers in the kitchen. So that's exciting. And yeah, so I'm making something I really love. I had some leftover chicken from the chicken I made last week. And so I'm making a lemon basil pasta that I really love and some roasted broccoli because easy. But I did today's hydrangea. Well, I did day nine's hydrangea prompt for Care December. I'm running a little bit behind on that. And just kind of did it slow. And I don't know, I forgot to film it overhead at all because I was just kind of in my head. And, um, I don't know. I'm in my head a bit. Um, yeah. Things just feel weird. Um, yeah. Family stuff. Just, anyway. Um, I think that helped a little bit. But I'm going to show you all this stuff and maybe dinner when I'm, yeah, my yummy pasta. And I will see you all tomorrow for a day. It's day tomorrow's going to be day 20 of Vlogmas. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whew. This is going so fast. I am. Um, I should start baking some stuff soon, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see, because if I bake it, then I'll eat it. So I'm trying to put that off. All right. I will see y'all later. Thanks. Bye.